Hello YouTube, I'm back again with another video. This time it's going to be a custom duel. The last video that I made was a non-custom duel, so for now, but this is going to be a different archetype that I'm using. It's going to be the Shadow Realm archetype because I want to showcase these cards to you guys since I haven't been using the most out of the other archetypes and I want to give these cards the opportunity to shine as well so they can be able to take up the spotlight but to be really to take up the shadow realm if you know what i mean if you catch my drift so <clears throat> so he's playing just a i'm assuming exodia dark magician deck this deck seems very peculiar like i don't know if it's helping like i'm just confused is it helping him draw into more exodia cards help him like be able to do both especially summon dark magician defend his life points, get strong monsters, and be able to draw into Exodia, but this is a, this seems a lot slower if, if I might add, to be honest, so. But then I play Allure to banish Crimson Archfiend, and I'll be able to benefit afterwards uh, with the effect of the Shadow Realm, but to be honest, I don't think this duel is going to take too long, so. Moving forward, I'm going to normal some Headless Doom Caliber Knight to search for a Shadow Realm card from my deck to my hand, Accept this card. I definitely like the artwork in this card, and it's supposed to be like a revamped version of both Doom Caliber Knight and Headless Knight if they were f like fused together. So, and then I'll activate Shadow Realm, which is a very powerful card indeed. And if I want to, I can choose to tribute one of my monsters and special summon either a Dark Attribute. Or fiend type monster from my grave or banish onto the field, which is very useful. I could have done that sooner, but at the same time, I feel it wasn't really necessary. It would definitely help for sure, but at the same time, it's like, do do I really need to do that? So, so the unfortunate part with Shadow on Fusion, I can only use one of its effect. I can even either use its effect to fusion summon, or I can use its effect to add a dark attribute. Or fiend type monster from my deck to my hand, which I'm gonna do right now. And you should know it's not Sleepy Hollow deck; it's actually the Shadow Realm archetype. This should be an archetype that Bakuro should have played, honestly, in my opinion, because he was playing uh, a mishmash mash of uh, other archetypes, and it was just really confusing. I understand it's like a necro deck, but I feel like this is the more upgraded variant that he could have possibly used if he was to be like the upcoming antagonist near the end of the Yu-Gi-Oh series for the original series. But besides the Link monster, it would have been mainly the monsters, the fusion monsters, like the effect monsters, that would have definitely been able, that would have been revealed throughout the anime, that could definitely show that he can conjure up really powerful monsters that could benefit him, and then that relate that relate to the Shadow Realm as well, because he does talk about, he does mention the Shadow Realm a lot. So it would definitely make a huge, great reference as to understand why he he definitely uh, <clears throat> is uh, like uh, why he endorses the Shadow Realm, why he is interested in the Shadow Realm, why he's so close to it, why he's fond of it, and here's the reason why: because the the Shadow Realm will help enhance his monsters' abilities, because you can tell these are like the upgraded versions of the monsters that he previously played, but with effects that are a lot stronger. As you can understand here, because he definitely needs retrained monsters with different effects. They may have similar artwork, but at the same time, it relates to what he what he relies on, what he what he's very what he's very like uh, accustomed to, like the Shadow Realm. So since he's so accustomed to the Shadow Realm, he might as well build a deck revolving around it with the cards I created. So makes it that much fun and then with white numbers effect it gains a thousand for each face up spell trap and then here this is supposed to be like yami bakura if he was part of the shadow realm, um archetype as the boss monster i'm not sure the ace monster because as this deck has a lot of strong monsters so he's not the strongest to be honest if I were to show you the extra, but I possibly can't if i were to show you the rest of the extra you'd understand that he has several other beat sticks but from here, he's going to send three uh, Shadow Realm cards from the deck to the grave. And he has another powerful effect that I haven't used yet. Just going to banish a fiend. 
and two cards. I'm gonna destroy all spell trap cards my opponent controls. And from here on out he's gonna scoop. Which is very unfortunate because I can understand why, because he can he can't do anything after. And even if I did manage to kill him, like he he have to draw into a specific card in order to uh, be able to counter with the field I already have and be able to retaliate, but I don't think it'd be enough since it's Bandit King's effect and he has no monsters, he has no cards and I already have the upper hand, so he's he's curious what he could do, so he has no choice but to scoop again, I hope you guys enjoyed the, the duel, even though it was a short duel I, I personally hope you enjoy the duel either way, because although, like I, you guys have to understand that I have to get the consent of my opponents to actually start this custom duel and I can't just simply make people agree because they have their own choices they get to decide whether they want to do that or not so I try to do the best to put up some certain content and try to upload it where it, where it becomes more interesting and have that both sides can benefit so that we be able to continue with the video but I'm glad that it lasted as long as it did right now. So, again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to check for more upcoming content in the future. Be sure to check your notifications. Comment, like, subscribe. Thank you.